Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQD5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, I'll be going over the steps how to display image from the web. So fortunately, displaying an image is pretty straightforward. And I'll be using one of my photo for a demonstration. So here are this my Flickr account and these are my photos. So I'm going to choose a um, kind of like a small size photo since I tend to take panorama photos uh, most of the time. And let's choose this one. And the first thing you want to do is you want to locate the, the file path. Here within uh, my photo and if I click on this icon, it allows me to download my photo to my uh, desktop. Instead of uh, downloading directly to my laptop, I'm going to right click my mouse. I'm going to choose medium size and right click. And you want to copy the link location. So here I'm going to copy the link location to my uh, Python script. And I'll pass this to a variable called URL image. Now let's go back to the top. I'm going to import my libraries first. Since we're displaying image from the web, we need to first of all, uh, retrieving the, the byte data. So to do that, we need to import the requests library. Now I found the, oops, now I found the uh, Qt widgets class. I'm going to import Qt application class, Qt widget, and Qt label. Now I found PyT, from pyqt5.qt GUI uh, module, I'll be import the Q image and the Q pix map uh, class. The Q pix map class is an obscure image representation that can be used as a pen device. And the Q image class is designed and optimized for IO, which allowing direct pixel access and manipulation. Now we have the image URL. Now we just need to figure out how to display the image in our PyQt application. So I'm going to construct my Q application uh, instance. And here I'm going to create my uh, image object. So from the image object, I'm going to call the load from data method. And we need to pass the byte data. So to do that, we need to call the requests library dot get, and we'll pass the URL dot contents. Now we have the image uh, object. Now we need to uh, display the image. And to display the image, uh, there are several ways, but the most commonly used method is using Q label. So here I'm going to construct my Q label instance. And let's call this uh, image underscore label. Now to display the, the image, so we can uh, use the set pix map method. And we'll pass the Q pix map class and followed by the uh, image object. And here we need to show the label. So I'll do image label dot show. And that's it. Now if I just launch my application and here, oh, let me activate my library. And here's my PyQt application with the image display. So if I just uh, uh, increase the window width and height, as you can see that here's my image from my Flickr account. So this is everything I have to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.